Do you guys like to read perfume books? Do you like to learn about perfumery and fragrances, read reviews, and just, you know, educate yourself about notes and things like that? And how are you guys spending your time during the shelter in place or quarantine that we're under currently? Well, today I'm going to talk to you about several books and or magazines focusing on perfumes, perfumery, reviews, and all that good stuff. So if you like the idea of learning about perfumes and reading about perfumes, learning about the uh, notes and the, the ingredients that went into the making of perfumes, then I'm going to recommend several books and magazines for you today. So if you want to find out what they are, then please stay tuned. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. That's right. I like to educate myself with uh, perfumery. I like to learn about the notes. I like to learn about the fragrances, what went into the making of the fragrances. You know, reading reviews and also just kind of like just getting caught up with all the information out there for not only the ingredients and the notes that go into the perfumes, but also, you know, reading reviews and um, people's recommendations about different fragrances and also kind of education, educating myself on classic and or vintage perfumes that were, uh, you know, available back in the day. We're going to do all that, but if this is your first time tuning into the channel and you still haven't subscribed to the channel, please click the subscribe button below and also click the bell so you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. So that's right, we're going to talk about about of different uh, books and and or magazines on perfumes. I've done a few videos on the channel about books and magazines, but today I'm going to give you a collection of them that you can actually buy and I'll recommend places you can buy them at. But we're going to start off right off the bat with a book you can buy at Amazon called Perfume Finding Your Signature right here. And within this video I might have to put my glasses on. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and do that right now just so that I can read some of the stuff. But Neil Chapman's Perfume, uh, the Finding Your Signature Scent, is an amazing book that's currently sold at Amazon. And uh, there are recommendations of different perfumes in here, and they're broken down into different uh, categories. Like one of the categories I can tell you about is green. I just turned into it. Gourmand. Woody. So you go through them, and each uh, section has multiple fragrances laid out. And, you know, you can read about them and learn about them. Here's one on tuberose. Um, coffee. Anyway, it's a wonderful book. I love having this around. Although, you know, when books like this come out and they're recommending fragrances at that time, after a few years go by, two or three years go by, you know, the, the book gets old and some of the recommendations are kind of older as well. But I like this that he kind of, uh, Neil Chapman, recommends so many different genres, sort of like me on this channel, that uh, you're not stuck with the same fragrances over and over again. Uh, again and you have a wide variety of a catalog of um, different brands you can pick and choose from. So that's what I like about this one. And this again is Neil Chapman finding your signature scent. It's called Perfume, as you can see right there. The next one is called Scent and Subversion right here. And this is Decoding a Century of Provocative Perfume. So if you like the idea of learning about vintage perfumes, because it says, take a whiff on the wild side of century, 20th century perfume with this beautifully illustrated guide to more than 300 vintage perfumes. Most of them are fragrances and perfumes for women, uh, but um, I still like to learn about some of them and the you know the perfumers that went behind uh, in the making of them and all that good stuff. And the the cool thing about this book is um, there's all kinds of great illustrations and ads that were used um, you know for the uh, fragrances themselves. So even though it's a smallish book, I feel like you get a lot uh, of information for. Um, for fragrances and again it says 300 vintage perfumes and um, it's wonderful. Now the woman that wrote this book, Barbara Herman, has a perfume brand. I don't know if you guys know the name of the brand and I'm drawing a blank right now with the name of the brand but um, she's got I think four or five different fragrances but I want to show you one more photo before I move on to the next one. This one is currently selling um, uh, for $20 at Amazon and this came out about five years ago, I don't remember the exact date on this one, but it's a, it's a wonderful book and I love having these books around once in a while when I'm looking for a, a particular fragrance and I want to I want to hear, or not hear, but I want to, you know, read a little bit about it and finding them in books like this 
are awesome because they write their own information about those particular fragrances, the ones that I'm looking for, and it gives me a little bit more detail rather than going and re reading reviews on Fragrantica of, you know, people that are writing about them. Here we get a little more educated information about some um, current fragrances and or classics. Anyway, this is awesome. Check it out. The next one, I've actually done a whole video about this book. In fact, there's uh, rankings in this book created by Luca Turin and Tanya Sanchez. It came out in 2018. It's called Perfumes the Guide, Ranking Perfumes and Perfume Reviews. So basically they're ranking uh, perfumes. And in here, I basically did a video of my favorite four and five star fragrances. If you're curious to learn about that, go check out that um, video. And uh, basically, Luca Turin is known as being one of the critics or reviewers of perfume. And he's written these books multiple times with Tanya Sanchez. And you go through this collection and you, you'll see um, some of the reviews you might not agree with, some of the reviews you agree with. Um, they are a little harsh in this book, but it's interesting to read some of the more kind of meanish uh, reviews on the one stars and things like that. But it's, it's overall a great uh, reference book to have around and sometimes it's funny to read um, the, the stuff they write about the fragrances and sometimes it's like wow like uh, I believe um, Tower Perfumes Accour de Desert I believe has been given a five star I can't remember if it was Accour or Laird de Desert Marocaine but that's one of the ones I remember but overall it's a great book just to have around and learn about fragrances and again it's a really great reference book for a lot of fragrances in one book so you you get to learn a lot about fragrances and maybe some things sound great to you and you want to go check it out you know anyway this is uh, just called Perfumes to Guide from Luca Turin and Tanya Sanchez. This next one, I did a review of this book with Dahlia. In fact, the next two books I've done reviews of the books with Dahlia. And this one is created by Michael Edwards. And this is Perfumes, Perfume Legends number two. There was a Perfume Legends number one, but this is the latest one. And this is French Feminine Fragrances. Um, and they go into all the way to like 2010 with a fragrance like Portrait of a Lady. If you want to go find out more about this book, go watch my video. We did a full uh, book giveaway as well. We had a wonderful winner. But this one is awesome because not only it's lots of information about, you know, fragrances that are very, really popular. As you can see, uh, the images are amazing. And it's almost like a coffee table book you can lay around and, you know, just refer back to because uh, they're covering a lot of uh, very well-known fragrances. Some of these are very modern fragrances, but, you know, some can be. I'm looking for a few that I think you will recognize right here, like Angel by Mugler, or it used to be Terry Mugler. Um, just, you know, a great reference to learn about the the creation process and what the perfumers did and all that good stuff now this one is quite expensive and you can only buy it from their website so go check it out and uh, find out if you're interested in buying it but i i think it's a definitely well worth it and i love it i love this book and it's always great to know uh, all about these fragrances as you can see on uh, on the the cover there anyway that is perfume legends from Michael Edwards and uh, Michael Edwards has been writing a reference book for years now on all perfumes uh, the history of the perfumes or there's a there's one every year that comes out and I think um, basically it's a guide for all the perfumes that are available out there to purchase anyway that's perfume legends 2 now this next one I did a review of this book with Dahlia again this is a Raja Dove's uh, wonderful wonderful book called the Essence of Perfume from Raja Dove. And this one is available, I saw it at Lucky Scent for $40 currently, so it's a pretty amazing price. And this is a phenomenal book. It is chock full of eras and perfumes, but it starts with uh, uh, some amazing history at the beginning. And you've got wonderful notes listed in here. As you can see, you can read about the notes. Um, just chock full of information and then towards the end you get to um, well you've got some classic perfume photos right here and um, vintage bottles I think this is a great great reference book to have and um, if you like vintages and you like to learn about the perfumes, just like very detailed, because I love detail myself. I'm a very detailed person. And, um, and I like the detail in this book. And I just love reading and, you know, referring to some of these um, wonderful photos and ads. 
of uh, perfumes. Um, so I highly recommend this book. And this doesn't stop at women's fragrances. You've got men, women, unisex. All of it is covered in here. And I highly, highly recommend it. it of course, you can also find some uh, photos of the Raja Parfums fragrances as well. Because he is the perfumer after all. But awesome book. I highly recommend this one. And this, again, one of the coffee table book kind of books that you can just lay around on the coffee table in your living room and then refer back to it every once in a while. All right, the next few things I'm going to talk to you about are magazines. And I've spoken about Nay Magazine before. And this is Nay Magazine. They're sold for um, $30 or about $28. And they're by... Um, they're biannually, so I think you get two magazines per year. You get, um, I think it's spring and summer, and then you get uh, fall and winter. Those are the different uh, magazines. But this is awesome, awesome um, information about perfumes. Um, just each, each issue has a different topic, and then towards the end they give you recommendations for uh, newish kind of fragrances that were out, and there, there's a write-up about each fragrance. And I don't know where they get uh, I don't know where they get these um, fragrances, but um, I mean, I guess they they pull from newish launches and things like that. But I want to find the latest issue so that I can show you. It was uh, this one right here. It's number eight, and I think there might be a number nine, but I haven't seen it yet. And number eight was focusing on cannabis, as you can see, and uh, but. It's, it's an awesome magazine. You get these from your uh, perfume shops. I know ZGO Perfumery here sells it. Diptyque Boutique that we have here sells it. Uh, I think Tiger Lily might also sell it. But Lucky Scent sells it, of course. Um, remember, you guys, I, I, there was a ZGO Perfumery discount. I'm not sure if it's on the books. I know definitely it's on uh, the perfumes. If you buy it there, it's 20% off, so check on that. But. Um, this is an amazing reference uh, magazine. It's nest I wouldn't personally call this a magazine. It's it's it it's, it acts like a magazine. It's more of a book for me, and uh, the information in here is amazing. And some of the fragrances that um, you see in here, like this one here, I reviewed it late last year. The Chant de Camargue from L'Artisan. Those are like the most recent launches, and basically they're giving you um, their. Uh, Interpretate not inter they're giving you their information on each release like here's Rose and Queer from Frederick Mall um, Anyway, this is uh, Comme de Garçons Yoyogi Odeminte right here wonderful, so Ney also does a what do you call it? Uh, they have the Naturals Notebooks, which are amazing, amazing. So there's six different issues. I only have four of them. I have these four right here. So basically I have Patchouli, Rose, I have uh, Jasmine, and then I also have Narcissus. And each um, notebook is 25 bucks, and it's, it's lots of information. And the cool thing about it, at the end, there's this, um, like a, grid or a, what do you call it, whatever that is, a graph with all the perfumes that are patchouli and the years they came out. So this one's amazing. I love this book. And you know, Polo is listed on here as well. And the Givenchy uh, gentleman is also on here. So it has all these great fragrances. And in the end, you have some of the most popular uh, patchouli focused fragrances. As you can see, here's Angel, there's Polo. Um, Coco Mademoiselle, Monsieur from Frederick Mall. But this is about patchouli. Um, I found that the rose and the patchouli issues have a lot of fragrances, and the jasmine and narcissus were limited with the fragrances they recommend. But here's that graph once again about the rose fragrances. And it's wonderful with the information these books provide, and then they have, you know, recommendations and their write-ups on these fragrances. Uh, Portrait of a Lady is listed here. But they go through, like, who cult cultivates the, the, the actual rose, and they, you know, there's photos about, uh, the, you know, the farming, and uh, just wonderful, wonderful books. And then I'm going to show you quickly both of these. This is Narcissus and this is uh, Jasmine. And they also have two uh, other books. 
or notebooks is what they're called, um, for Oris and Vetiver. I'm looking forward to getting those, but having these around and, I'm, and whenever I need to like look up something about these notes, uh, it's nice. This actually Narcissus is a, a note that I'm really, really intrigued with and I, I want to explore further. But as I was saying, Narcissus, you know, the graph is pretty limited right here. It's not a very popular note, but it's a note that I'm very, very curious about. Um, Vert Bohem from Tom Ford uses this note. And of course, this one right here from Hermes, as you can see. But anyway, these are wonderful books. These are 25 each. And just having around uh, some of them for some fragrances you like is nice. Or um, just having around um, just one or just all of them. <laughs> it depends on what you can afford. But those are my recommendations for an awesome reading material while we're sheltering in place or in quarantine, all focusing on perfumes. But let me know your thoughts. Do you have any fragrance books or magazines that you read that I didn't mention here? Have you been um, curious about these particular magazines and books or the notebooks or you already own them? Let me know what your thoughts are. And if you have them, let me know what you think um, or what you think about each one and have you gotten the information you wanted to get from each of the ones that you've bought. Anyway guys, thanks so much for watching this video today on perfume books and magazines. Do you like to read about perfumes or do you just do your, all your research online? Please do let me know, put a comment down so that I can find out. Other than that guys, thanks so much for watching today. Please like this video, please share it, follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye.